Hello everyone. Previously, I showed you how to use the WHERE clause, which is basically used in filtering individual records. Okay. If you have not watched the video where I taught WHERE clause, I highly encourage you to go do that first. I will put the link in the description below. But today, I will be showing you how to filter results based on aggregation function. And for you to do this, you are going to be using what we call having clause. Okay. Now, if you remember in my last video, I showed you how to use the group by clause. Okay. So whenever you have a group by and then you want to filter by that aggregate function that is part of your group by, then in that case, you are going to be using the having clause. So what that means is that having clause helps you to apply your filtering logic to your group level aggregation functions. Okay. So having clause is used basically whenever you are using group by. Let us take a look at some examples right here for you to better understand how to use having clause. Okay. Let's assume that you have been asked remember also guys that we are still using our dvd rental database tables okay so let's assume that you have been asked to find the customer id of the customers who spent a total amount less than 40 dollars okay find the customer id of the customers who spent a total amount less than 40 dollars okay in that case what you have to look at the in that case the table we are going to be considering is the payment table right here which is part of our dvd rental database table let us write a select star statement there first for that okay if i run this you see we have the payment id customer id staff id we have the amount right now our question says we should find the customer id of the customers what that means is that i'm going to be having customer id right here okay they said find the customer id of the customers who spent a total amount right a total amount if you are calculating total amount then we are going to be using some and remember we have the amount column okay so you are going to have amount right here okay and we can use our alias remember i taught you how to use alias so i can call it total amount spent okay let us run this guys i want you to take a look at something that's going to happen right here guys let us run this you can see right here that we have an error you can see it says that the customer id must appear in the group by clause or be used in an aggregate function i have taught you this before the how to use the group by right so we can group by we can group by the customer id right here if we group by the customer id what do we have you can see now guys we have customer id and now we have the total amount spent we are not done with the question okay let us try to order let us order by and i've taught you how to order so let us order by customer id if we execute this also now you can see that customer id one spent one fourteen dollar and seventy cent customer id two spent one twenty three dollar and seventy four cent right however what did the question ask us the question says that we should find the customer id of the customers who spent a total amount less than 40 dollars so in this case now we are going to apply our filter now for you to apply your filter because we are using group by right here which is group level aggregation right here that i was talking about in that case for you to apply a filter for us to only show those customers that spent a total amount less than forty dollars. Remember that right here in our what we have right now in our result, we are showing all the customer IDs and 
the total the total amount they spent right but now we want to filter down to only customers that spent total amount less than forty dollars in that case you have to use what we call the having clause okay let's let's try something if you if you decide you want to use a wear clause as i taught you before and you want to do some and you decide to have some less than forty dollars remember we said that the to total amount less than forty dollars if i do this let's see what we are going to get you can see right get guys that you have an error it says aggregate functions are not allowed in where clause do you get it now and that was why i told you that the where clause is used in fi fi filtering individual records so in the case of this one you have to use the having clause having clause is used with the group by and also if you are using if you are having having the keyword for having right it has to come after group by take note that you have to follow this follows a sequence you have you have select first followed by from followed by where followed by group by having then order by order by is the last but because in this case we are not using where we take it out okay so now we are saying that having some of the amount less than 40 dollars if we run this now let's see what we get very good now you guys can you see that we only have three customers that spent a total amount less than 40 dollars this customer id 248 281 318 they spent a total amount less than 40 dollars how did we get that we use a group by that means that we grouped by customer id so that we can see the total amount spent by each customer and then we want to filter down to only customers that spent less than $40. That is when you use the having clause. That means you are saying that having some of the amount less than $40. And I said that your having clause needs to come after group by. Can you see that now? And we are ordering by the customer ID. And if you take a look at this, I did not put ASC, right? because by default postgres is going to order but is going to order in ascending order if i don't put anything right there in front of the customer id if i don't put asc okay do you guys get that right now what about let's assume the question says that we should find the customer id of the customers who spent an average amount less than or equal to three dollar and twelve cents now this time around is talking about an average amount what do you think we should do all you have to do is take out this sum and put average i have taught you that before and then you can change the alias that you have right here you can say average amount spent so this gives us average amount right however we need to filter because it says that those that spent an average amount less than or equal to three dollars and twelve cents that means that i'm going to come here and i'm going to say having average average of amount of three dollars and twelve cents you see that now guys this having is what is doing the group level uh filtering for us okay you see that i'm we are using an aggregate function with this having do you get that now let us run this guys if i run this can you see now that we only have 12 rows where oh i we made a there's something i missed that right here remember the question says that have less than or equal to three dollars and twelve cents that means we need to put equal to that right there that means less than or equal to three dollars and twelve cents let us rerun that okay we have rerun we still got the same number of rows that's good now remember that it's not good for we cannot we, we don't want to have this many number of decimal places and therefore you can just use a round function which i taught you in my previous video 
let us round to two decimal places that that way you know this is just going to be in two decimal places this average amount spent let us rerun guys if i rerun you can see right there we still have our 12 no, our total rows is still 12 rows and right here we have been able to return only the customers only the customers that have spent on an average something less than or equal to three dollars and 12 cents very good guys i hope you guys understand this now i've been able to teach you how to use the having clause right here okay all right guys if you are new to this channel i highly encourage you to subscribe and to click on the bell so that you can get notified whenever we release any of our videos also don't forget to comment like and help us to share this so that you can have more people that will benefit from this uh, postgres series all right guys i'll see you in the next class bye